Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So 2024 Nobel Prize for Chemistry has been awarded to three scientists with one half of the prize awarded to Professor David Becker from University of Washington for his contribution in computational protein design and the other half of the prize is awarded equally to Demis Hassabis and John Jumper from Google DeepMind uh, for their contribution of protein structure prediction. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you that what exactly this protein, uh, computational protein design and this structure prediction is and why is it so important and why they deserve the Nobel Prize for year 2024. We are going to talk about this in a very layman language so that all of you can understand even if you're not from biochemistry or biophysics background, all right? So uh, in order to understand it in detail, in order to understand the importance of this work, you need to understand what proteins are and why their structure is such an important thing to know. There is a very important phrase in biochemistry that if you want to know how protein works, you should know how protein looks, okay? So that means that the function of the protein, how a protein works or what exactly it's gonna do, it highly depends upon its structure, its three-dimensional structure, yeah, that's what we call it okay so that's why knowing the structure of the protein becomes such an important thing so any protein which functions or all these proteins are actually um, for a particular function they all of them have a defined function and what function they are exactly going to do it depends upon their structure a slight change in their structure is going to affect their functioning it can cause the protein to malfunction and it can even cause various diseases so a lot of work and a lot of studies are being done on protein misfolding protein unfolding or protein structural changes so that's where a lot of field of chemistry and biochemistry comes in where you study biochemistry biophysics structure biology molecular biology all these stream of like biology and chemistry they all study the protein structure in detail all right now as i said that the structure of the protein is important to know the function of the protein so let's now understand how a protein is made up of so these proteins are like macromolecules giant molecules made up of small building blocks of carbon oxygen and hydrogen basically if we don't go at the atomic level if you go at the molecular level so they are made up of amino acid residues so they are different amino acid residues having different charges on them having different hydrophobicity they combine all together to form a protein structure now depending upon the charge of the amino acids depending upon the hydrophobicity of the amino acid they are going to arrange themselves in the space in a way so that they nullify all the effects they nullify the attraction forces they nullify the hydrophobic forces and that is going to construct the overall structure of the protein so that means the overall structure of the protein depends upon which amino acids are making it and this has been proved or this has been showed in the year 1972 so we have to go back a little in time so the nobel prize in chemistry in the year 1972 was awarded to christian and finson where he discovered that the structure of the protein the three-dimensional structure of the protein depends upon its amino acid sequence so we call it amino acid sequence that means in which sequence these amino acids are aligned okay so that's what was done in 1972 but still if you just take 100 amino acid okay if you just have 100 amino acid sequence and if you want to know or if you want to predict that how the protein of these 100 amino acid is going to look there are millions of possibilities in which they can arrange themselves and form a protein structure but which of them is correct that is super difficult to tell okay and that's where we were struggling since last 40 50 years and people have been working upon it continuously they have developed different ways different experimental ways how you can look upon the structure of protein which include nmr spectroscopy if you can crystallize the protein you can see or you can look upon it using x-ray crystallography and there are advanced techniques like cryo electron microscopy using all these techniques you can look upon the three-dimensional structure of protein and once you know the three-dimensional structure of the protein you can now see and uh, like look, predict the function of the protein all right now these things these studies which i told you these are all experimental ways and they require a lot of effort lot of funds lot of money and they are not easy to be done okay they are very time consuming to get a protein structure from nmr spectroscopy it takes years and again same for the crystallography it takes months to do that for cryo em it needs 
takes weeks to get the structure of the protein okay so this thing has been simplified and that's where these computational chemists or computational biochemists they were working upon it so in the year 2003 uh, professor david becker he found something which is called computational protein design now he went in the reverse direction i mean instead of finding out that it, the alignment of the amino acid finding out how they are going to align and make a protein he went in the reverse order he first made a protein and with the structure of the protein he was able to predict the amino acid sequence so he was going in the reverse direction he in, started from the structure of the protein and he went back to the amino acid sequence so what was the benefit of it the benefit was that you can design your own protein here okay so you can design your own protein and then you can get to know the amino acid sequence of that and if you know the amino acid sequence of that you can use different biochemical techniques to synthesize them in lab now where is this going to be useful so various vaccines or you can understand it in example like if you want to inhibit a virus you can design a protein that is going to stick to the spikes of the uh, of the virus and that can inhibit its function and if you have designed the protein now you can get back and find out its amino acid sequence and once you know the amino acid sequence you can now uh, synthesize the protein okay so this is what done by professor david becker and his team in the year 2003 and he made a software for that the name of the software is rosetta this software is free for the academic use you can download it from the website of the university of washington and uh, the code of that is there you can work upon it and you can look upon it the software of your own uh, but yeah, this is only free for the uh, for the academic license. Okay, so the half problem was solved Like you if you know the structure of the protein you can get back and find out the amino acid sequence and this has actually opened up a new world of uh, Imagination you can say where if you can imagine a protein that is going to work in a certain way You can find out its amino acid sequence and you can synthesize that so this was a very remarkable work done by Professor David Becker and his team in the year 2003. Now still one problem like one side of the problem was solved but the major problem is still exists like how you are, you, you are going to find out the structure of the protein from the amino acid sequence I mean in the, in the, in the forward direction. So if you know the amino acid sequence how you are going to find out the structure of the protein and that was the most fundamental problem and people were struggling with it till the year 2016 people were still trying to find out a way in which they can predict the structure of the protein using the amino acid sequence and they could only achieve 40 percent accuracy i mean if the if you are assuming the structure of the protein to be 100 percent accurate uh, by predict predicting it through the amino acid sequence they could only achieve 40 percent of accuracy that was pretty low and that was not reliable data until 2020 when alpha fold came in okay so professor demis hasabis and john jumper from google DeepMind, they have developed a software called as alpha fold again this is a free software uh, you can look upon it of yourself so this particular software can predict the structure of the protein from the amino acid sequence which was the most fundamental problem since ages okay so if you give the amino acid sequence to the software it has its own neural networking with the help of that it can find and construct the three-dimensional structure of the protein up to an accuracy of 90 percent that's insane you get a accuracy of 90 percent and that's being done in your computer system you are able to predict the structure of the protein in such a high predictive rate and this is cost effective you don't have to wait for months or years for that in just few minutes or few hours you are going to get the structure of the protein which is highly highly accurate so how does alpha fold works okay so it's kind of a neural networking as i said it has database of sequence database of all the proteins which are there till now uh, around 200,000 proteins which are there so the sequence information of them or sequence database of them and the structure database of them so if you provide any new, new sequence to the software it uh, follows the neural networking and it learns or it goes into the its database and tries to find out that which of the sequence is closely resembling to the amino acid sequence which you have provided okay and by the calculation and by deep learning and by 
doing its networking, it's going to give you the final structure or the three-dimensional construct of the protein. Now, this is a remarkable thing which uh, these two scientists have achieved using AlphaFold 2 and it's one of the uh, software or you can say one of the technique which is recently developed and is being used widely by scientists who are working in the field of biochemistry, biophysics, uh, structure biology, all of us are using this particular software. So now by the contribution of these three scientists, the age old problem of solving protein structure and the difficult part of it like forming or constructing the three dimensional structure of the protein that has been resolved to such an extent that you can achieve a 90% accuracy and this has given such a relief to all of people who are working in the field of biochemistry, biophysics, structure biology. And this alpha fold which is right now alpha fold 2, I am expecting it to be resolved more in future so that it can give us more accurate structures. Okay, And this shows that machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep mind, deep learning, neural networking, all these are the future of science and we have to utilize them to make our work easier. This was all about the Nobel Prize for the year 2024 in chemistry. I hope you understood the importance of it. I hope you understood how it works. And uh, if you have any question, you can drop that down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.